Hi, we're at the Delo Industry Days 2025 in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we are now with the CEO of uh, Copenhagen Group, Mr. Jeppe Henwerk, because the company just unveiled this uh, new, very unique looking USB unmanned surface vessel, and we're going to find out all about it. Jeppe, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for hosting us. So you just unveiled this uh, new USB this morning at the uh, Delo Industry Days. Uh, what makes it unique? There are a lot of uh, USBs out there nowadays. Uh, first, this one has a very uh, unique shape. Yes, we are using the wave piercing technology and uh, we are using uh, the stabilization uh, capacities that we have today that uh, wasn't available 20 years ago when this boat was actually out sailing. And, um, and then we have covered up all the antennas and all the masts we built into the, to the hull uh, above and uh, below water. What else is uh, quite uh, unique with this uh, new USB? Uh, the, the, how do you, uh, how quickly can you produce it? Yeah, but I think that uh, the scalability that we have seen in Ukraine is uh, we are trying to benefit from. We are thinking, trying to think out of the box. So the windmill industry is actually uh, building uh, uh, this uh, this boat, uh, this USB. And uh, we, we can do it uh, rather quick. We can do molds in three weeks. And, and uh, you know, if you can build a windmill wing, uh, you can produce a drone and we can deliver the hardware. Uh, so we can, we can scale up very fast. That's a windmill industry here in Denmark? That is uh, correct. That is in Denmark. And uh, with, the, with the material that they're using in the, in the, in the industry that we, we, they know about. So it's a scalable project, I would say. Industrial scalable. Can you name some of uh, your uh, industry partners in the project? Yes, we have. Uh, we are looking first of all to create a Scandinavian uh, project. So we are working with Radio Nord from Norway. We are working with Maritime Robotics, also from Norway. Uh, we are wor working with Teledyne Reason, based in Denmark, for the underwater sensors. And then we are working with uh, US companies, uh, Teledyne, uh, FLIR, um, Microsoft as well. So we integrate everything together so it works as a, as a proven platform. And uh, that is, I think, uh, the secret source in uh, what we've done here. We have not tried to develop a lot of things. We've just uh, got people together and uh, tried to do an operational concept, uh, concept or systems of systems, I would say. And very much a Nordic project then, indeed. Can you please share with us some of the you know, performance figures and uh, mission sets for this USB? Yeah, we have a, a, a total uh, um, max uh, weight about five, five and a half tons. We have 40 knot plus. We have about 550 Nordic mile range, and we can stay out there idle for about 500 hours. Payload is about 850 kilos, and we can transfer the payload to fuel. So we can get up to about 1,000 Nordic miles uh, on this platform. So um, multiple sensors, a very stable platform, uh, integrated with air condition. Uh, we have not saved on weight, so we can operate in Africa, we can operate in the Arctic. And uh, you will be demonstrating uh, this uh very soon at DSCI in, uh, in UK? Yes, so we, we started up um, uh, before DSCI has showcasing it and, and we will be at DSCI transmitting to the screens with our underwater sensors and and um, Seaflia real time. So we're looking forward to that. And uh, lastly, Jeppe, this is just the beginning because you are also working on the future projects that, that will materialize very soon actually. Yeah, we have uh, two other platforms uh, in, the, in the go, yeah. so they will be end of this year and start next year, larger platforms, uh, much larger pay payload. So we are looking forward to share that with you at a late stage. Alright, I look forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.